Hi, this is Andreas from anythingbutappa.com I'm continuing my range of videos for my review of the Arcus 5 internet tablet on our website. Uh, just now I want to show you some aspects of the interface uh, of the device. Uh, of course this device is running Android which means that uh, it has some uh, default interface uh, elements like the desktop and some Arcos specific stuff on top of that so this is the desktop it's actually uh, a threefold desktop you have um, basically three screens that you can use for widgets and icons and you also have this drag out thing that lists all of your applications and you can also take these and drag them on here to make shortcuts so this is my desktop uh, I only use the middle one. I have some random stuff over here. This is actually something added in uh, one of the la later firmwares. It's a widget to control Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. You can add uh, widgets by holding down on the desktop and choosing widgets. You have some various. I added some uh, myself, like Battle Life and Facebook. Uh, they don't come on the device by default but you can easily add them <coughs> so uh, basically this is your default way of interacting with the device you have uh, you can have various shortcuts on here to apps and this thing on the bottom is actually a widget and it's the only way of interacting with the Arcos side of the software so you can't have icons going to the various uh, media features and you can't access them from here so basically the only way you can access the Arcos side of the Arcos 5 internet tablet is by using a widget which is pretty weird if you ask me because you basically must have this uh, taking up uh, a lot of your screen at all times so basically um, there's an accelerometer in this device, so if you turn it, it uh, changes orientation. It doesn't work on the desktop, but uh, if I go into settings like this and turn it, it will switch orientation. Which, uh, <laughs> you, act you have to calibrate this every time you reset the device or uh, install a new firmware, so I don't quite know how or why you have to tell it which way it's up. It's certainly the only device with an accelerometer I've used that you have to actually tell it which way is up. It doesn't exactly... Is that, it isn't that... Well, I'll leave that issue alone, but... <coughs> if you read my bug section on the device, you can see why I'm finding it hilarious that you have to tell it which way is up. But um, back to the f interface. You can go into videos or music. Uh, if it doesn't hang in the process, so this is basically the music browsing menu. You have your uh, ID tree tags or your metadata to browse by, like artist or album. And this uh, sidebar here will tell you various info on of the on the of the files. So if you select a, a song, you can see the album art and various stuff like that. And if I turn it, that sidebar goes away and you just have a long list of files. One thing that annoys me is that uh, there's no feedback when you reach the top or bottom of a list like this. So uh, often, especially in app stores and the like, I find myself trying to scroll where you can't actually scroll because it doesn't let me know when I reach the end of a list. So if you have a very short list that you thought were longer, you often find yourself uh, go doing like this. And uh, if you check out my uh, video on the resistive versus capacitive touchscreen, you also know that this screen isn't exactly the best uh, the most accurate screen to use, the most accurate touch screen that is, so often it doesn't even notice you're interacting with it at all, so that adds to the confusional 
whether or not you actually reach the end of a list. But um, basically, every list on every arc or side list on the device looks like this, uh, except for photos. Um, they're all shown like. Let's see. Okay, maybe there isn't any on this device like that. Yes, there are. So as you can see, it actually tries to cache all the files down here. Uh, it has uh, let's see, six by four. It shows 24 pictures at a time and uses about a second and a half to cache the thumbnail every single time you open the photo browser, which makes this app more or less useless because by the time you actually get to see what picture you're trying to find then uh, well you spent five minutes if it's if you don't know where it is because there isn't any way as far as I know that you can just list the file names of course unless you go to the default file browser which I can show you which is this one here file manager this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is an, this is an Arcos uh, application or not, but uh, this basically lists every single file on your device, such as uh, uh, this is uh, some APK files that I install software and firmware files and everything like that. Um, but you can find photos through there, but using the Arcus software you're basically going to grow tired of looking because of the constant caching of thumbnails. Let's browse the videos. There's actually, you can see, it's trying to cache videos like uh, right now, like it did with photos, but once it does, uh, the thumbnail is supposed to be animated not that it's very animated right now, I'm guessing it has to cache all of the videos first yeah you can see exactly how much the 800 megahertz processor helps this device because it's slow okay Apparently it doesn't want to be animated right, right now, but the thumbnails are supposed to be moving. I don't know if they removed it in some firmware update or whatever, but considering how buggy this device is, I'm not surprised that it doesn't work when I'm trying to film it. So, um, let's skip that, if it doesn't hang in the process. So, uh, these two right here are um, basically spam, to put it simply, because uh, half of the features on this device you won't get unless you either pay for them or register your device. If you register your device you get a plugin that enables web TV and web radio which isn't really anything other than streaming from the internet. You can also stream from the network so it's technically just a limitation to put in place to make you register your device. And also you have to pay for uh, GPS software, you have to pay for games, you have to pay for this, and you have to pay for that, and you have to pay for additional video codecs, and you have to pay for uh, AC3 support for video, I think it was, yeah. Uh, which a lot of video files use. So, that's one reason I uh, wish you could just use normal icons for the Arco stuff, because you wouldn't have to have these two uh, menus here, which at least to me are basically useless because I'm, I have no intention of paying for any of that stuff. And although some stuff in the media, cl media club is free, it's basically just gibberish anyways. So uh, I want to show you something about the top bar here. This is actually a notification bar. There's no notifications now, but if you have a tweet to client, it will show tweets, and if you have new updates to apps, it will show that, and so on. And also, this menu is a normally a drop-down menu. This is always on the device, so it will have various options for you to choose, such as creating a playlist and deleting files and everything like that. So. That's basically it for the interface of the device. Be sure to check out the full review as well as the other videos that uh, concern this device.